Alrighty guys, I know I mentioned that I wasn't going to do the days anymore, but I'm like, ugh, anyways. Let's just go ahead and do this until we get the plants outside. So we are on day 42. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, yeah. We are out on day 42 of our peppers, tomatoes, and basil seedling. Growing from seed, guys. Growing from seeds. So let's take a look. This are my We Hope We Survive show. This area here. Okay? While I was moving things around, because I had to make some changes... I accidentally bent over this one and so um, that's what we have here I did you know transfer it into a container to see if I would you know it would grow from cotton I, I could get it to a root and then I'll plant that instead um, here is my edema pepper still looking at it it still has edema um, according to what they're saying is that is edema yeah it's still there um, but other than that, these two here are doing good. This over here is what is it? Mm. If it doesn't have, yeah, this is heaven arrow. This I think is cayenne pepper because of this stripes here, the stripes right there. But let's go to the second shelf. Um, right here are some basil's and um, some ghost pepper, as well as yeah, just I think ghost peppers. Um, here we have some other things going on here as you guys can see the plants are really growing really well let me see if i can turn on the lights so that you can see properly where are the lights the lights here there we go there we go guys so this day 35 guys can you guys see the beauty of the pepper coming out ah i want to i notice the only pepper i smelled really like the leaves is the ghost pepper the ghost pepper has a scent it's kind of it's interesting i didn't know that you know i would experience that with any peppers like the habaneros and the um, cayenne peppers that i did I and mean, even the bell pepper i didn't notice a scent but i was impressed by realizing that there are scents on leaves of course yeah of course some plants have you know scents like a basil but i didn't i didn't expect that for peppers but all here i can attest 100 percent they are all ghost peppers okay i know some of you are wondering she didn't label them i labeled them when they were seeds but i today transplanting them <sighs> look guys it's a lot to transplant i just lost count i know the basic one and that's it okay these are all the ghost peppers for my uh, mother-in-law and it's doing so well it's time to water them i water them this evening or tomorrow morning um and here again as tomatoes you know i don't know if you guys noticed the setup of the lights was different last week and i noticed tomatoes were like falling to the side like they were about to faint or something you know and i don't know i never thought about this i just decided to hook it up here and now they're standing straight yeah now they're standing straight now they're looking like they have sense a little bit some of them still look a little bit you know mm. but yeah we're just hoping for the best we're hoping for me that by may everything will still be okay that's my prayer these tomatoes right here look you know hopeful and you know better i'm hopeful with these tomatoes over here like i said earlier i'm not too concerned if um they end up not doing so well because with tomatoes they grow pretty fast and if i even if i plant it from seed um outdoor you know i know that i'll still get some fruits from it my main gig this year is peppers and then okra also which is going to be later but yeah so those are the tomatoes here i have a total of 12 tomato plants um that i'm planting here 12 no i'm wrong 14 tomato plants i, I don't intend to to use them oh, i'm gonna donate some out and here over here is bell peppers guys the bell peppers are pop hey pop 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 they're doing so well um here's a mixture of cayenne pepper with um habanero pepper and some ghost pepper and basils there's something i noticed with these peppers here i don't know if i do you see that thing it looks like it's beginning to seed can you guys imagine i need to ask my friend my people what i need to do about this i think i'm supposed to um is it trim it or um cut it off if i see that happening huh video okay yeah but it looks like this thing's about to start for me no hey it's too small to be doing that hell this is the cayenne pepper 
so yeah i need to go investigate on that it's too early for that to be happening it shouldn't be happening yet too this these here also i can attest they are all habaneros habanero peppers let me turn on the lights yep do you guys see do you guys see habanero peppers right here all right also i believe habaneros and a mixture of basil and maybe ghost peppers so that's it guys day 42 we have like three i think two more weeks before i start the hardening process where i take them out for a few hours then bring them back in just to get them acclimated to the outside weather before i fully like plunge them into going outdoors completely we have to like introduce the plant slowly outdoors so that's called the hardening uh, method last year was my first time doing it and this year will be my second time so i'm looking forward to that because i can't wait to get this down i can't just wait to get this uh in ground and get things moving all righty so all right guys do well to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already done so if you've done so hit the notification button so you can be notified when i post new videos till then